My name is Fred, and this video introduces Jakarta. It is the very first video in a series. Basically, in Jakarta, you've got three fields. You've got the algebra field, where you can see some formulas. You've got the graphic field, where you can show graphics, of course. And then you've got the input field to make input into Jakarta. I've made some tasks for me. The first task is to make two points. A and B and make the line connecting them. I could use the A icon, the A facility here, making a point, pressing it and I get the point there. It's not the one I want, so I'll use Control Z to raise it. And now I use the input field to make the exact right point. A equal to 1 comma 2 and I get exactly the right point. Do use capital letters for points. If you use small letters, you'll get vectors and that is something quite different. So now I'll use capital B equal to 4 comma 4. I need the brackets. Oh, not that one. Starting brackets and ending brackets. Like that. Now I could make the line connecting them and uh, as many other things you can do it in more than one way in Geograpa. I have an icon here. I have several, but the one I want now is the line one. And I point the first point and the second point, and I'll get the line connecting them. Maybe the equation here is not in the form I want. I could do a right click on it and ask for the, so to say, normal form of the equation. I could ask for the slope to be shown. There it is. I'll erase that, control Z. Well, I've done it twice, control Z again. So, that was the line here, and that was simply using the tool from up here. I'll erase that one, and now I'll use the input field, and I'll write fit line, a list of points, A, comma, B. I could have more points, as you will see later on, but then it would be a linear regression. I'll fit the line and I get the same formula. Very often I'll do a li little change, make a little change to the line. I'll change the color and I'll widen it a little bit so that the students easily can see the most important thing on the screen. Now I have another task. Find the point on the line where x equal to 3. So I'll write down here x equal to 3. That's it. And I'll put some points on that line. That one, and 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 that one, etc. And then I'll show the students, well, see over here in the algebra field, all the points have the x value 3. The only one really interesting us, that's the one on the red line, namely the point F, where x equals to 3 and y equals to 3.33. I could get more decimal points if I wanted. I'll erase all those points and the line as well. And if I erase the line, the x equal to 3, all the points dependent on, them, on it will be erased as well. So I'll right click, delete it, and you see all the points disappear as well. Now I'll make y equals to 5. That's it. And again, the same exercise as before. Put on some points here. That one is an interesting one. My text box is a little bit in the way. And again, you can see all the points over here. In the algebra box, all the points will have the y value 5. The only one interesting us, that is your d point with the x value 5.5, .5, so that is so to say the result. I'll raise that line, horizontal line, and with doing so I'll raise all the points depending on it with them. Here comes my next task. Make the line y equals to minus 2x plus 4 and find the intersection. I don't want to show those two points anymore. But now I'll show the point y equal to the line equal y equals to minus 2x 
plus 4. Here I've got this line. I could make it blue. And now we want to find the intersection between the blue line and the red line. And again I have different possibilities. I could over here find the intersection where is it? There. Intersect. If I point on one line and the second line, I'll get the intersection between the two objects. That also counts for other kind of graphs. Or I could just point close to the intersection and I'll get it. Or I could write in the input field, intersect the two objects. And here I have to see that the first object is named A and the second one is named B. So I'll put A and then I'll use the arrow to move forward and put B on top of that. And again, I get the intersection. Enough of them. I'll raise it. And I'll delete that one. And I'll delete my two points, although th they are not shown at the moment. Because now I want to do my fi final task. I've already erased all project, all objects, and now I'll make two sliders A and B, and a line using them. So here I've got my slider. I'll use my slider A, and I want another slider, and I'll get a slider B. Maybe I want to move it down a little, and I won't be able to do that because the slider is fixed. So now I am able to move it a little bit down if I wanted to, and I could refix it. Fix means that if I move the whole screen around, you will see that the slider stays. So now I'll mo make my line y equals to ax plus b, like that. And as before, I'll do a right click on it and I'll make it red and a little bit thicker. Now if I slide my slider I'll see that it goes into the line. I could make a text box showing this text box here. My well not that way my line is and then I have an object here and now the line is C and I can see down here what it looks like okay I'll make it a little bit bigger broaden it and I'll color it red as the line is and that's it and again it is dynamic and it goes interactively so if I change the slider it will change in the text box as well in, as in the algebra field as well as on the line. I could make this as an exercise for the students. I could hide the line and I could use A equals to minus 1, B equals to 3 and we could have some discussion what would the line look like now. And when we've got a result we'll show it. And changing around what will it look now like now when the result is for coming forward we could show it and this ends the first video on geography